Good morning and welcome to WAG's first morning meeting of the year. We would like to talk to you a bit today about our charity of the term, Refugee Action York. Some of you will definitely remember Ray from our previous fundraising efforts, but we have so much news about refugees in the recent months, we thought you might like a reminder. Let's start with this. Do you know the definition of a refugee and how that differs from an asylum seeker? A refugee is someone who is fleeing armed conflict or persecution. Their situation is so perilous that they are protected by international law and able to seek assistance from states and aid organisations. An asylum seeker is someone who claims to be a refugee but whose claim has not yet been evaluated. This person would have applied for asylum on the grounds that returning to their country would lead to persecution on account of race, religion, nationality or political beliefs. Someone is an asylum seeker as long as their application to live in a country is pending. Not all asylum seekers will become refugees but all refugees are initially asylum seekers. How is a migrant different to both of these? A migrant is someone who has moved to improve their life but who, it's judged, could safely return to their own country. In August this year, the Taliban retook control of Afghanistan. The Taliban are an Islamic political organisation who aim to restore peace and security through enforcing strict Islamic law. As an organisation, they have had known links with terrorist groups, including those who carried out the 9-11 attacks in the USA. Under the Taliban's interpretation of Islamic law, being gay is legal and punishable by death. They also do not believe that women are equal to men, including holding views that girls should not be educated. The speed at which the Taliban took hold of power in Afghanistan took many people by surprise. Thousands of at-risk Afghan families urgently left their homes to seek safety and protection in other countries. You will likely have seen on the news distressing images of this, of planes packed full of people leaving their lives behind. Refugees are people who often have no other option than to leave their homes and everything they know to protect themselves and their families. They are also people who can suffer abuse due to misunderstandings about their situation. The Afghan refugee crisis is deeply affecting. To do our bit and show our support for those suffering, Refugee Action York, also known as Ray, was chosen as our focus charity for this half term. Set up in 2002, Ray is a York-based charity which supports refugees and asylum seekers, challenging misconceptions and supporting the refugees fully join their new communities in Yorkshire. They provide safe meeting points, information, skills and language classes and support services. Through their work, they empower individuals and assist them in rebuilding their lives. During our COVID lockdowns, they worked with asylum seekers placed in hotels around York, supporting them at an extremely difficult time. They work with refugees from all walks of life, including working with Afghan families arriving in York this year. Three of them have so far raised £1,130 for rent to contribute towards their important work welcoming and supporting refugees in our beautiful city. We will continue to raise money and awareness for this cause, which we are all very passionate about, and hopefully make a very positive impact. Thank you for listening and for playing your part in Bootham's fundraising for Refugee Action York. Hi, this is John Williamson from Refugee Action York with a message for the pupils from Bootham School. We'd like to say a massive thank you to you for your fundraising efforts over the last term. As I'm sure you're aware by now, uh, Ray Refugee Action York is a charity that supports refugees, asylum seekers and migrants in the city of York. And the money that you've raised will help us enormously. When, we, when charities get funding, uh, a lot of the money that we get from major funders uh, is earmarked and has to be spent on specific things. The great thing about local fundraising efforts is that it gives us flexibility to spend the money in the most useful way that we can. And your money will go towards our hardship fund, which supports our families and our individuals in the most need. It can provide things like bicycles for new arrivals into the city, school uniforms for new arrivals into the city as children are placed into schools, uh, public transport to uh, important appointments. Uh, it, with some of our uh, longer last, longer standing clients, it will help with winter fuel bills, which is going to be a particular challenge this this year. In addition to um, the the money that you've raised, it's wonderful to make links with York institutions, and Bootham School is definitely a York institution. It's great that the pupils are on board with raising money for us, which means that they're aware of refugees and the situation situation that refugees find themselves in. 
and it also means they're more likely to uh, challenge people with discriminatory language and behaviour if they see it in the in the city. So thanks very much for your help, thanks very much for your support and I hope we can carry that on. Cheers.